Now, people I talked to tonight say they are very disappointed with the assignment, saying the school is teaching hate instead of love. Christian Academy tonight isn't apologizing, but is explaining the assignment. But those close to the school say this lesson is the opposite of what students should be learning about how to treat each other. I would have hoped that they would have changed in the past 20 years. But Kylie Marcy says Christian Academy of Louisville hasn't changed. She graduated in 2002, attending from K through 12th grade. Some of the things that I learned there, I grew up to unlearn. Certainly I went to high school with gay people that graduated from Christian Academy and they certainly felt ostracized by the school and the curriculum. Marcy says when a middle school assignment went viral on Facebook, she immediately called her peers. The assignment, which was due Thursday of this week, asked students to write a letter to a hypothetical friend and explain to them why homosexuality is a sin. The description reads the letter should lovingly and compassionately speak truth to the person you're talking to in a way that does not approve of any sin. Cal can be a Christian school without teaching hate. I know what it feels like for people to tell you your entire childhood that there's something wrong with you um, and that you need to pray and you know, and I'm going to hell. That's why JP Davis made the original Facebook post. An openly gay man, a friend reached out to him after their child received the assignment. I don't want young people to have to experience what I had to experience and endure. Um, and, and that's why it's important to me to call it out and I think that it's important not just to talk about it, but also to demand change uh, from a policy perspective. In a statement, Cal says this particular assignment in context was how a person could discuss homosexuality with a friend from a biblical perspective with compassion and love. The statement goes on to say, moving forward, we will review this assignment to ensure there is clarity in its purpose and language. The statement also says we believe that God created the marriage covenant to be between one man and one woman. Also says is a biblical word worldview is defined for parents before admission. Marcy and Davis tell me alum and other concerned Louisvillians do not plan to stop voicing their concerns and demanding change. Live in studio, Bobby McSwine for the WHAS 1119 on your side.